What's up everyone, Tech Me Out here, and today I am back with episode 8 of the Perfect Setup Battle. So in today's battle, I will present 5 setups in which you choose the winner from by casting your vote down below. The results will be tallied up on Saturday and announced on Sunday via my Twitter and Instagram. As the winner, you will receive a gift card to Amazon or iTunes, plus have your setup featured on my website. I'll be in contact with the winner via the email they submitted their setup from. Now, in today's battle, we have Rio, Quina, Rashawn, Julian, and Daniel. I'll be showing their setups and mentioning a few tweaks that they have installed. Their full tweak list, however, will be provided down below in the description box. So, without any further ado, let the battle begin. My first submission comes from Rio with his setup that he entitled Emerald. His lock screen demands attention with this bold clock that was achieved with Lock Plus, along with Lock Glyph accenting the bottom to animate things when his finger is being scanned. He even adjusted his status bar as well to add to the unique detail given to this setup. There's honestly a lot going on with his overall look here as he themed a number of areas on his device. His homepage is filled with a ton of his apps and a dedicated widgets page that provides a nice view of this calendar and quick access to Google search. He also touched up things in his settings, control center, and music app. You can find his full tweak list down below. Now my second submission comes from Queena with her setup called Paintball. She kept a lot of things under the default setup with slight changes here and there. For example, her clock was altered with the color change but remains pretty standard. Her passcode screen was changed to add pictures on her keypad through the use of faces. And taking a look at her home screen, she's running the Muse icon set with the themed control center as well that was done with CC background. She tied things in together to keep a uniform look by doing this and even adjusted the color of her notification center and overall look of her messages app. Now moving to my third submission, which comes from Roshan with his theme entitled Classic Black. And the name is the perfect description of it as the wallpaper is kept simple with the black and white design that centers around the Apple logo and a bold clock providing him with the date and time. At the bottom of his screen, he is running Jelly Lock to quickly launch into specific apps of his choice. Taking things to his home screen, he has this beautiful theme running that is entitled Vixelum or Vixelum. I'm probably mispronouncing it, but it's going to be listed in the description box. But moving to his control center, it's carrying an eye-catching theme which was actually done with something different which was Gotham, and it provided him with this cool looking icon set. Now taking a look at my fourth submission, which has this city inspired theme from Julian. His lock screen provides a clean look with his clock in the top center, complements of lock HTML, and an unlock animation at the bottom that was achieved with lock glyph. Moving on to his home screen, he's running the theme known as Mantra to give his icons the appearance in which you see. He also slightly adjusted his control center to top things off, and overall he just has a very clean, dark, minimalistic look all in all. Now, and my final submission comes from Daniel with his setup which he calls Simple Me. His lock screen sports a unique look that was completed with Lock Plus, Top Top Dark, and Hide Me X to name a few. He basically has the date, time, and weather right at a glance. When unlocking his device, we have a setup that consists of folders and what I would presume to be his more commonly used apps to keep things on one page. He also adjusted his control center, notification center, and multitask switcher. If you're curious how he achieved all of this, his full tweak list will be given down below in the description box. So that's gonna wrap up my five submissions for this week. Please cast your vote on who you think had the best setup by stating their name below in the comment section with the hashtag in front of it. Should the win go to Rio? Quina, Rashawn, Julian, or Daniel. The winner's gonna be chosen this Saturday and announced on Sunday via my Twitter and Instagram, so be sure to follow me up there to find out who left with the win. And once again, please be sure to include the hashtag with the name of the person that you want to win because it helps out a great deal when I'm trying to tally up the votes. Now, I do want to give everyone a heads up that I am right now currently leaning towards moving the perfect setup battle to my website, where I will basically still take submissions and feature a winner, but it will be done on my website site instead. I'm moving towards this approach as the entries have started to dwindle a bit, in addition to the views and interest of a majority of you which seems to have dwindled as well. Therefore, in the upcoming weeks, I will be migrating the PSB series for those that are still interested in it to my website, and I'm going to give you more information regarding the details of this transition in the upcoming weeks. And maybe if it starts to pick up significantly, I'll consider bringing it back to YouTube, but until then, it's going to just be on my website. So if you have submitted your setup and you're wondering what 
what will come of it. I will probably have one or two more episodes on my channel and then move things over to my website. Now, I know I've gotten a few questions and comments from some of you regarding where you are in the queue. And um, I just wanted to let you all know that I'm currently showing setups, meaning the setups that I just showed in this video are setups that were submitted at or around January 20th. So if you know when you submitted your setup, you can kind of get an idea of where you might be or potentially may be in the queue. So since I've started this battle, this is as far as I have gotten into my submissions because I'm doing them in the order that I received them. So I'm currently at January 20th submissions and I'm starting to enter into the beginning of February submissions for my next episode. For those of you that have been following this series that um, is interested in seeing the growth of this series, you can continue to follow it at my website Site, and we'll see where it goes from there. And either within the next episode or before, I will be providing you all with more details regarding what you can expect. But that's going to wrap everything up for episode eight of the Perfect Setup Battle. I do appreciate everyone that has been participating, submitting, sharing, commenting, and supporting this video along with my others. So I'm going to wrap it up here. If you have any additional comments or questions, you know what to do with them in the comments section. So as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.